see in last video we will see the basic WCF application in the MVVM pattern in that we will do the addition of numbers simple UI and here property chain notification your relay command so this is your UI now for the testing purpose we need to wait each and every time for the input and output so we just go for the unit test so it will be test unit wise your software so we'll check the functionality just add one more project here without wasting time we will add new project We are going to perform test on your view model. So addition view model. Addition view model. Okay. So we are adding new, new project. Now click on the test. Unit test. So it's not visible. Now we do that. So add new project. So the test unit test. Here we need the project name. Project name is WPS addition. Addition of number. So we need to add same. Addition of number. You can use different name also for the naming convention it will be better so that anyone can easily understand what the purpose for this test and for whom and for which class will going to execute affected by this test okay after creating this you will get this new project into your solution explorer so before continue add the reference of your existing project that is your WCF addition of number to your test project here then add the reference using WCF here addition of two numbers now publish here on which class we are going to perform a test case so here suppose we are going to do the addition of Two numbers. This is the class name. So I just copy that here. Now test. Okay. Now in that which method you are going to test? So in a new model, suppose we have one method. This is the addition of numbers. So you you need to test this. So publish addition of number test. Okay. Uh, in short, we can go for more uh, static name also. Suppose add ten and twenty. Okay. Now inside create a variable. See here, it will be performing a three stage. Initialize. Provide call with the parameter and assert the test. So it will give the final result. So void at this ten and twenty. Suppose we need a return. So final return value is thirty. Now inside we initialize your model class as well as your view model class. So provide var. Here your model class is the uh, addition view model. So addition so here. Yeah. 
see by using this addition vm view model object you are able to access the methods whatever declare in the view model so please declare this add command whatever we write in a view model we are able to access here one add command addition of numbers so you cancel command equals to get set all property but we will pass the method for the method parameter so declare your view model object So need to be using model here. Now let's provide the static data. So without running UI, you will get the final answer number one is ten suppose. Equals to addition here dot Accessible to outside the class, so it is a public, it will be accessible. Public now come into your unit test and again dot add number. How to be accessible here? Pass the object. Now, whatever can be passed from here. It will be accepted in a view model here. Now, in an addition of numbers dot add result is equals to the object one number, object two number will be add get and return result again to the your test cases. So now a set will check here whether the test cases fully pass or not. So I got R equals to here all the values in an integer so int because it returns integer so what is the answer your answer is 10 comma 20 so answer is 30 whether it is a 30 or not we'll check the result okay let's finish now to run this test is click on the test so to run this test case, click on the test, run test all test cases. So show you see it until the day. Answer your past test. Okay, so in this way we can perform 
to unit testing on your application to your methods to your class see when it fails you just go see 10 20 here we'll go for the 40 suppose the addition of 10 and 20 it will check whether it is 40 or not if it is 40 then the test is passed if it is not 40 then test is failed now let's do it now before that we use here 30 so 10 plus 20 to 30 so test is passed now the answer should be the fail let's check it fail fail test okay make it again see suppose here i make it 20 see this is the static name it does not matter but always use the better naming convention so that any other developer will easily understand by reading this code also so by seeing the method name what the purpose beyond this method okay so test is passed okay so in a description box i will provide the all code along with the methods name in the location where to place it along with the folder description how to arrange the folder you can see this in my blog now thank you